politics in general, and you're a Democrat right now, you're worried because it might not just be four years. This could be the start of something. J.D. Vance is 39 years old. You're thinking, wow, they could control the button here for a long time. You have to take a hard look in the mirror and, and engage in some critical self-reflection and say, what went wrong here? Either I need to become more to the right, move to the right, or I need to define myself in a more kind of distinct way and not try to just play the kind of personality charisma game because frankly I lost at that I lose at that very often and lost that in this case and so yeah they, a, a lot of the young folks uh, want to see real policy that you know uh, we even saw in, in Los Angeles people saying I don't want a politics of pigmentation anymore yep. I want to know what your substantive policies are yeah it's very true and Julian Epstein to you I mean I wonder if if you think this for Kamala Harris is the end of her political career, if she does something else, or do you think she regroups and maybe comes back? No, I think it's the end for her. I, I think she had an opportunity to perform in unscripted environments, and Democrats were wor worried that she wouldn't be able to perform. That's why she, they didn't put her into a lot of cross-examination interviews. But look, I think so. I think I think it's going to be hard for her to sort of re resurrect herself. But I think. You know, if the media tries to make the identity argument here that this was about gender or race, I think they're just going to further uh, dig themselves into a, a very unpopular place. Because, you know, when Joe Biden was running, you could look at all of the same issues. The Democrats were in deep deficits on, yeah. on, on the economy, on immigration, on crime, on foreign policy, you name it. And, you know, Gianno, I think, will back me up on this. If you poll inside or if you talk to black Americans on the street about what they think about immigration, particularly working class black Americans, uh, you know, w for which immigration has been wage theft for them. Uh, if you talk to them about defund the police, all of those issues, I think as Jano knows, you'll find they, po they, they poll yeah. very, very unpopularly, uh, and the Democratic positions have been very unpopular. So if the Democrats are putting together a multiracial coalition amongst the working class, I think it's hard for the news media that was really in the tank for Harris to start virtue signaling uh, here. And you know, the signals about this have been around for a couple of weeks. The pollsters really got this wrong, they again, did. for the third time. Uh, and you could, and as I said on your network last night, Trace, you know, you could, t you could see this coming weeks ago because the early vote was so bad, the right. Democrats, which is an indicator of enthusiasm. So this should not be a surprise. It should be a wake up call. If the Democrats are smart, yeah. they will learn from it rather than point fingers. I've got about a minute and a half left. I want to go around the horn one more time. Uh, I can give 15, 20 seconds to each of you, Steve. Your big take I'm very upset, Trace, by the way. You don't include me with the young people. So I was going to go you said I'm really I, I, no, no, just, I just want to say one thing. I think we could also be seeing a turning point here in California. You have a massive defeat for George Gascon here in Los Angeles. Yep. You have the conservative Republican common sense position looking like it's going to win handsomely on the crime proposition, on taxes, on the minimum wage. You've got the recall of the failed mayor of uh, Oakland.